you want to make your first video using AI, even if you've never edited anything in your life, grab my free beginner's guide to AI video creation. It walks you through step by step using a powerful tool that you only pay for once, and then you can use it forever. The link is in the description below. What's up everyone? I'm so excited to show you this. If you've ever wanted to make videos for YouTube, for school projects, videos to scale your business, or just for fun, but have zero experience, this might be the easiest way to start. This tool is called Video Express AI, and it's an AI powered video creator made for total beginners. You can literally type what you want, like a dog walking on the moon, and it will turn that into a video. And then you can stitch your creations together in the built-in timeline editor to make a full video complete with motion, voiceovers, and background music. It also lets you animate photos, remove objects, change backgrounds, and even make people in your photos talk. The best part? There's no monthly fee. It's a one-time purchase for lifetime use. But stick around because I'm about to show you Video Express in action and then you can decide if this tool is the best thing you've ever seen since sliced bread. I wouldn't be shocked if some of you hated it because while some people love it, some people think it's a big waste of time. And let's talk about who this is perfect for and who should take a hard pass. First, let's talk about who this is perfect for. This is great for parents who want to make a storybook or a fun video with their kids. This is great for teens who want to make cool YouTube or TikTok content. It's perfect for homeschoolers who want to turn homework into something creative. And it's awesome for teachers and small business owners who want quick marketing content or literally anyone who wants to experiment with video without needing editing skills. Now, who is it not for? If you're a professional editor or filmmaker looking for deep control, color grading or cinematic quality, you're going to want to skip this. It's not made for that. But for the rest of the beginner community, it's an absolute game changer. Now let me walk you through how easy it is to use. What you're looking at right now is the main dashboard. It's very easy to navigate on this. If you look on the top left, it, you can see the aspect ratio. So right now we're in landscape 16.9, or you can change it to vertical, which is your shorts, your reels, your TikToks but we're just gonna keep it in landscape. Down below, you have your timeline. So whatever you create, you could just drag and drop into your timeline to make your videos. So let's go over here on the right side and you see your media library, create with AI, import media, text animations, filters, fast cut, automatic captions, and audio cutter. So right now, we are in the create with AI tab. And as you can see, all these options are in the menu. Now, whenever you create something, it's going to wind up in your media library. So let's just go over here to media library. There it is right there. You have audio, your default folder, your images. So these are images. If you want to upload from your computer, this is where you would put them. My AI audio, the, this is audio that this program can create AI images my AI videos, and then your regular videos. But we're gonna come back to this in a little bit. Let's go back over here where it says create with AI. It's super cool to experiment with this. So this is what you're gonna start with, create from prompt. What I love about Video Express AI is you can type just your idea in here, and then you push this where it says extend prompt, and it will extend your idea and give it much more detail. So let's say, man walking on a rocket ship and then we're going to extend the prompt and watch what happens a solo astronaut clad in a sleek white spacesuit with gold emblem on chest it really extended it well all right it takes your idea and it just expands it and this is another thing i love about video express ai you have a lot of different models that you can choose from human 2d 3d photorealistic other so right now we're on human and then their style, look, cinematic, surreal, photorealistic, studio portrait. You could spend hours just experimenting with the different models. So we'll, we'll go cinematic. And this is the box for your negative prompts. A negative prompt is what you don't want. For instance, ugly faces, 
you don't, this is optional. You don't have to put these in. Missing limbs. Misshaped body. Okay. Let's come back out. And then let's generate the image. That's not bad. Okay. So, and after every generation, you want to come down here and click save. And it's going to save it into your, remember we did this, media library. All right, so that's saved, but we're going to do something fun. Let's do, let's do another prompt. And let's say cat looking into fish tank. And we're going to go, we want to extend the prompt. Let Video Express AI do its magic. A sleek and curious domestic cat with shimmering gray fur. I think Video Express does such a great job with this. All right. <laughs> That's long. It really did extend it well. Okay. So human. We're going to make it 3D. Let's make it 2D. 2D. Yep. Okay. And we're going to generate a new image. But I think this is awesome. They did a really good job with this. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I don't like the color of the cat. Let's go white cat 3D model. And let's generate the image again. Okay, cool. Okay, I like that one. All right. Now, this is where it can get super fun. So we are going to create a video from this. But I want to click this box right here where it says video length booster. We're going to make the video longer than two seconds. It'll probably make it either four or five seconds instead of two seconds. And if you don't want to share your creations in the public gal gallery, Video Express AI has a very extensive public gallery where people share to. You just unclick this. Okay. And let's go ahead and create the video all right and read this carefully your video will appear in the media library under my media so that's going to be up here again in the media library so we can actually continue generating more photos and you can generate unlimited amounts of photos on here as far as i know i have never had any limitations and i've generated lots and lots of photos on here and hang on, because we're going to make one of these images talk. We're going to do a talking photos. That's coming right up. Yeah, so it definitely made it more cartoonish. So let's go back and make it cinematic. Now I'm going to show you guys how to take these and drag and drop them into your timeline to start creating videos. Okay, cool. Now we're talking. All right. I'd like it closer. I wonder if I can make this cat talk. Let me just go back. Go choose one of these. Okay. Let's do... Let's do this one. Okay. We're going to choose this one. Let's make this one talk. So, video length booster. Yes. And we want to... Guys, for consistent characters, you want to click this button right here. This box. Check this box where it says reuse the same character. And if you're creating a story... You always want to click this so you can reuse the same character that you're creating. So the next generation will have that character. Make sense? Okay. So let's go here to talking photos. And then right here, create talking video. Okay, here we go. And you can record your own voice. You can import audio or you can do text to speech. And here is where you're going to choose all your different voices. What I don't like about this feature, this function, is that the voices still sound a little digitized. But you do have a lot of different options here. So for a cat, we need to find a voice that would work well with a cat. So let's try Leonardo. Hello. My Hello, my name is Leonardo. You can pick me as your text-to-speech human-like voice engine for your video avatar. Okay. Uh, nope. Zeta. Hello, my name is Zeta. Alright, we're gonna go with Zeta, and we're gonna raise the pitch of the voice, and we're gonna make the cat talk a little bit faster, 
And then we're going to say something like, Hey, I'm hungry. Can you pick me up some tuna fish from the store and then add some lobster? All right, let's import the speech. Hey, I'm hungry. Can you pick me up some tuna fish from the store and then add some lobster? Hey, I'm hungry. Okay, so let's create the talking video right here, okay? All right, let me show you how to start stitching together your video creation. So this prompt window we can close. Come down here, close. Now, if you have an image that you would like to make into a video, you can do that and you can select from your library. And like I had mentioned before, if you go to images, you can upload your own image and then you can create a video from that file. And you can do the same thing and make these images talk. So it's the same idea. So I uploaded this video, I mean, sorry, this image, and I made myself talk. That is another really cool feature of Video Express AI. Let's start stitching together our video. I'm gonna go down to my AI videos, right? This is These are the videos that are generated in Video Express. Here are the images, and this is the audio. We're gonna talk about this in a sec. Uh, so let's go my videos and okay so here's the video it's a moving image it animated the image cool all right so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab it and drag it and place it right in our timeline and then here is our talking video let's see if this worked hey I'm hungry can you pick me up some tuna fish the mouth is not moving because I believe it's looking for a human face. So I did create this one right here. I can't believe I got stuck on the moon. There again. we go. I'm never coming back. Thanks, Elon. <laughs> so it seems like that's one of the, one of the limitations is that it would probably have to be some type of human talking, whether it's a, a, an animation or a cartoon or a realistic or photorealistic image, it would have to be a human talking. So, but let's say I grab this and I'll put this down here and I'm just blowing through this super, super fast right now just to show you um, all the features that Video Express AI has. Let's see, I created this one. Here's a dog. I'm gonna put this dog in here. And this isn't gonna make sense right now because these are not all consistent images. Put this one here, okay. So now let's figure out music, audio, and we click on music and you can search right here or just find something that you like. Okay, so there are a lot of tracks you can use and these are all copyright free, so you can do more. So let's just say I like this jazzy cool. I'm gonna put this down here, just drag it in. This is kind of a cool feature. We're gonna go back to create with AI. And then you have human talking video. And here are the requirements. Lip syncing, talking head feature works best on photos that are at least waist up. So it provides the parameters that you need to use. And then you can replace backgrounds, images. So let's go. So I have this elephant here in a city. Now, if I want to replace the background, I'm going to put him in a desert. And the more specific, the more detailed that you can be with the prompt, the better the generations will be. So just keep that in mind when you're using that. Okay, so we did it and we were very detailed with this. The problem before was I was just putting one word in and it wasn't really doing much. So I extended my prompt, but, uh, but yeah. So it did it and it did a really good job of what I had asked it to do. So that's how you replace backgrounds. In painting and out painting. In painting is if you want to add something in the painting. Object removal, special effects, motion brush, and AI sound maker. This is kind of cool. So waves crashing on the shore. 
five second duration. All right, let's listen. Yeah, so it did it. So any type of sound you want, just be very detailed with the prompt. And then create it, and it saves it in your media library right here. Right? In my AI audio. All right, so you also have access to stock videos and stock images. See? Images and videos. So these are images and videos that Video Express already has that you can use to drag and drop. So I like beach. Beach, so I'm going to drag. I can drag this image here. All right, those are just images. And you can make the image shorter. Uh, so let's go back to videos. I want to get a video. Let's go back here. All right, before we lose anything, we're going to want to save this. I'm just going to call it beach. Okay. All right. So you can add text to your animations. You can add filters and then automatic captions. Now, this is something I believe you need to sign into. It's a different program called vid subtitle.app. I wouldn't use this. What I would do is just register for a free CapCut account. And after you export your video, then throw it into CapCut and that'll add really, really nice captions on for you. Anyway, I'm going to leave the link below to CapCut in the description. And there are other AI video generation programs that I recommend. One is called Syllabi that creates shorts and reels pretty quickly. And then there's another video creation editing software called V.io. So all these three programs I would highly recommend. Video Express AI is one of my favorite for beginners just to kind of get used to how AI works, especially with helping with the prompts and you have a lot more control. So you can explore how to create your own content, you know, experiment with the timeline and the music and how you want the videos to look and with the text animations, things like that. So real quick, I did want to mention that if you are serious about this to go with the all access and do not buy the basic and we're going to go over the price real quick on these because with the basic, you do not get all of these talking, singing photos, AI prompts, AI video motion brush. You don't get all this. So the difference in price is the basic is $49. And the all access is 179. What's awesome about Video Express AI, you pay once and then you can use it for a lifetime. So anyway, we're going to end it here, guys. So click the link below, download the free guide and give it a try. You might be surprised by what you wind up creating. And hey, if this was helpful, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly sharing simple AI tools, beginner tips and free guides to help people like you create amazing things without needing a tech degree. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope to see you all on the next video.